Today's video, we're gonna be shooting the six millimeter arc and I'm only gonna be shooting factory ammo through this gun. I did build this gun, but um, we're just doing factory ammo instead of hand loads today. So this gun previously was very over buffered and under gassed. So it was really hard to get the gun just to cycle correctly, but um, unless I put the suppressor on it, basically it just wouldn't run. So the accuracy hasn't exactly been great up to this point, which is kind of mind boggling because it's a proof barrel. So you expect them to shoot good and it just hasn't so far. So we're gonna try Hornady factory ammo, see what kind of velocities Hornady expects us to get with this thing. Cause even though it's a 16 inch barrel, the velocities have been pretty slow. So we're just gonna see what happens here, but we're basically gonna shoot every factory offering that Hornady has for this cartridge. So we're looking at the 80 grain ELD VT, that little guy right there. The 103 ELDX and Precision Hunter, the 105 Boat Tail Hollow Point Match in the Hornady Black Line, and then the 108 ELD Match in their Match Line. So we got the whole gamut here. We're gonna be shooting four groups, probably five shot groups, and we're gonna be going um, probably left to right on the target. I'm gonna shoot for the center on the first one just to make sure the gun's zeroed because I'm never confident in that. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna shoot Three to five shot groups, just see what kind of groups we get out of this thing. And um, who knows, maybe it's a great shooter and I just don't know how to load for it. But we're gonna go ahead and get started with the lightest first and we're gonna work our way up to the heaviest. All right, first group is going on the center diamond here with that 80 grain ELD VT. If this thing cycles, I'll be happy just based on that alone. Well, it ejected 2819 on that one. Yay! 2819 again. 2801. 2819. 2791. I'm honestly just super happy that the thing cycled, but we're looking at an average muzzle velocity of 2810 extreme spread of 29 and a standard deviation of 12 so actually pretty consistent on the velocity side of things i'm kind of having a hard time seeing the group i don't know what's going on it's almost like i got a fog between me and the target here but uh it looks like that first shot went high and the rest of them just kind of put right in there so maybe it can shoot really well i don't know but it, it looked to me like that, that was kind of promising. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the 103 ELDX next. And we'll probably just go for the left side of the center diamond since the zero seems to be pretty close. All right, next up is that 103 ELDX in the Hornady Precision Hunter line. We're gonna be going for the left side of the center diamond. All right, failed to load one there. That felt crunchy. 2537, 2515, 2493, 2555, and 2507. So, excluding that first shot, it looks like that 80 grain ELDVT group did way better as long as I'm seeing it right. But that 103 ELDX just didn't shoot very good, so we may have just been shooting too heavy of bullets through this thing. Velocity stats were 25-21 as a muzzle velocity average, 62 feet per second extreme spread and a 22 feet per second standard deviation. So also not as good as the ELDVT if I'm remembering correctly. Next up is that Hornady 105 boat tail hollow point. I'm going for the bottom of the center diamond. 2564 2541 2525 2531 and 2520 so that didn't group uh, great either really 
The only one that we could even really brag on was that 80 grand EL DVT, and that's if we deleted one of the shots. Average muzzle velocity of 2536, extreme spread of 44, and a standard deviation of 16. So that's really not that bad as far as velocity spread, but the groups just aren't good. I think we just have to shoot lighter bullets in this gun, honestly. I just don't think it's gonna handle the, the heavier stuff. Last up, we have the Hornady 108 ELD match ammo, and we're gonna be going for the right side of the center diamond. Twenty-four eighty-nine, twenty-five forty-three, twenty-five thirteen, and twenty-five twenty-five. Interesting. Well, there goes my theory about only liking lighter bullets. Um, accuracy wise, as long as I'm seeing it right, that was phenomenal. That was a really good group. That's the best group we've shot out of this gun, definitely by far. But our average muzzle velocity was 25, 12, extreme spread of 54, and a standard deviation of 21. So our velocity spread wasn't that great, but we could remedy that with different powders. But it just shot a really good group. I mean, no flyers. From the looks of it, it was, I mean, that's probably a half MOA group out of a gas gun. So I, I would definitely be happy with that all day long. But who knows if we can replicate it. I'm not gonna do it here just because um, we're planning on hand loading it. So we're probably just get some 108 ELD bullets and see if we can make it shoot that good or better. But uh, anyway, man, it is windy. <laughs> It's gotten so bad. That's the video, guys. Thank you all for watching, as usual. Um, for all questions, comments, concerns, and stuff, um, equipment, components, ammo, whatever, all that stuff is in the description. So if you guys are interested in that stuff, please check out the description, the links, whatever. Um, it's much appreciated. That being said, glorify God in all that you do. Stay risen. Be safe. Take care. We will see you all in the next video, hopefully.